having a photographer that was reputable, someone that had a lot of experience behind them. Um, I had prior seen photos of my friend's wedding photography, and I was like, are you sure, you know, they have that experience? Like after viewing theirs, I'm like, I now know not what not to do. <laughs> um, so for me, it was the experience um, and having kind, having someone that could show me what they've already done. Um, for it to be able to tell a story. Uh, when we were looking for photographers, that was my main thing. Um, we were not certain we were going to get a videographer at the time. Um, so choosing a photographer that could tell a story with photos was really important to us. So our first meeting was with Una Breyer, um, one of the lead photographers, um, and we had a meet up with her at a local coffee shop and we just clicked. The, the thing that I noticed the most was how personable she was. It wasn't immediately about business. It was about getting to know her clients. It was about getting to know the people she could possibly be working with and spending your wedding day with. Um, so for me, being able to click with her and walking out of that meeting going, I really liked her. I really, really liked her. Um, and feeling comfortable leaving that meeting like, like she was a good friend that I had known for years. Um, for me, that was what sold me. Um, after we had decided to go with Dragonfly Photography, I think it was excitement. Um, honestly, they were the first vendor we chose. We hadn't even gotten a venue at this point yet. Um, so photography was really high on our list. Um, but it also, it gave us an opportunity, um, to get to know them better because we also did our engagement photos through them. So if anything, we just got really excited. <laughs> It was nothing short of amazing. Uh, there was never a stone that was left unturned. The communication was always flowing, um, which made it a lot easier to plan. Um, anytime there was a hiccup, anytime there was a, a new change, um, I was reaching out to them going, hey, Una, I need help. I need help figuring this out. And even when I was like in panic mode, um, like COVID hit, we replanned my wedding three times. Um, she was always there to respond. She was always there to be like, hey, we've got this, we've got you, we will figure it out, don't worry about it. So having that communication, having that connection with them, um, being able to rely on them um, when everything else was going nuts was one of the best experiences I've had with any event. extremely happy, um, sort of in awe. Um, they were able to capture moments um, that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life because now I have them. Um, seeing <laughs> one of the photos that we saw for the first time was of me and my dad um, on the dance floor walking towards each other and we were both in tears. And it just brought me right back to that moment and that day and how I felt. Um, which was happy, excited, but also like my dad's crying. Like, why are you crying? <laughs> Being able to relive that day, literally like a storybook was the best feeling. Um, 
I would say, what are you waiting for? Um, <laughs> this is your wedding day. This is something you're going to pass on to your kids, to your grandkids, to your great grandkids. Photos are what they're gonna remember. They're gonna remember seeing them in your home and they're gonna start asking you about them. Those are the memories that you're gonna be able to share with them. So if, if, it's, if it's cost, if it's, I don't know, just hesitation with getting, finding a photographer that is gonna really make your day shine over and over again because of what they're able to give you, I would say go for it. Find dragonfly photography because honestly, it has literally been a 